Well, hello on this Wednesday, rising river and lake levels are kind of a thing all over Minnesota and western Wisconsin this spring, but particularly the northern part of the state. Uh, lake of the Woods is up three to four feet, rainy river, rainy lake, Namakon Lake as well, and expecting over the next several days a continued rise of anywhere from 10 to 16 inches for some of those lakes to the north. Uh, just incredible. Lake Superior even up a foot in just the last six weeks. For a lake that size, that's a ton of water. And of course, uh, river levels, something we keep track of as well. Uh, Minnesota River, the Mississippi River, the Sauk River, the St. Louis River is all uh, pretty high. Looking at the Mississippi River at St. Cloud, it is starting to come down from a peak of a couple days ago and should continue to drop. But all this will depend upon precipitation we see over the next 48 hours plus. These models do not take into account precipitation past 24 hours because it's too variable. The Mississippi River at St. Paul is still going up, in fact, uh, at least another foot by Saturday. So you can see that water kind of make its way from St. Cloud through St. Paul, Hastings, and eventually down. Of course, we picked up more rainfall yesterday, mainly across the southern third of Minnesota, uh, up to a half inch or more for a few spots. Twin Cities, just eight hundredths of an inch at the airport. We had a few hours of some of those evening showers. But over the next 48 hours, we're talking about additional rainfall, especially southeastern Minnesota into northeastern Minnesota. That's where we could see the most. And in particular, northeastern Minnesota, where we don't need it, possibility of a half inch to an inch of rain. It'll be from these thunderstorms, though, which are really variable. You can get a lot or none just 10 miles apart. So not typically the widespread kind of precipitation. But a system today, low pressure riding right along the Minnesota-Manitoba border is going to touch off some thunderstorms today. But then we're talking about a bigger wave making its way out of the Pacific Northwest. This is the West Coast, in case it's hard to see with all the different colors and data overlaid here. Uh, this longer, slower moving wave comes through tomorrow. That's going to touch off some thunderstorms, but then bring a prolonged period of some clouds and cooler temperatures. We're talking about a chilly weekend. So this is that long wave coming through tomorrow, and it is going to draw in some moisture ahead of it. A temporary push of warmth that we're seeing today and tomorrow uh, before the cooler stuff moves in. So as we head into the afternoon today, we're going to watch for some thunderstorms to pop across northern and central Minnesota. Twin Cities probably on the southern edge of this activity. More likely to see those scattered storms in northeastern Minnesota, but cannot rule out one or two showers or thunderstorms in the Twin Cities late afternoon into the early evening hours. Even a slight chance of severe weather. Small pocket. Mainly it'll be a hail, maybe some downburst wind threat, uh, but not too much energy available for those storms. This is showing that potential energy generally on the modest side of things. But tomorrow, a little more energy in the system. But where is that energy going to set up is the question tomorrow. Uh, where it does, we have the risk of some strong storms, a wider spread, slight risk, a level two out of five tomorrow. The Twin Cities included in this, but the storms may be developing a little further south or east, depending. Uh, this is the American model. It's most aggressive with that thunderstorm potential energy. It does have quite a bit more of it in south central Minnesota into Iowa but other models keep it a little further south or a little more narrow. So it all depends upon this narrow window of dew points coming in. So the yellow and oranges are those 50s and 60s dew points. Out of here pretty quick tomorrow night, but that uh, finger of dew points combined with surface level dynamics, upper level dynamics, we're gonna have a low in southwestern Minnesota, warm front right across southern Minnesota, cold front behind that. So all of that has to line up with the peak heating of the day as well as those dew points. And so it looks like some storms could rumble uh, early in the day, some showers ahead of the warm front are possible. So this is late morning tomorrow. That'll move on to the north, elevated stuff. But then Thursday evening, we're going to look for some storms to pop, maybe ahead of that low, and then some activity that could fill in in the overnight, bringing some more rainfall. Uh, and then we'll dry out beyond that. There is an isolated risk of a shower Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But for forecasting purposes, I'm leaving that out because that's a pretty small chance. But be aware kind of like last weekend. You could have a brief sprinkle or two, but for the most part, we're just going to see some clouds and noticeably cooler temperatures. 59 Saturday, low 40s in the Twin Cities Saturday morning. Some suburbs might get close to 38, 39 degrees. In northeastern Minnesota, we are talking about frost, definitely in some of those spots before things warm back up. 70s will be back by the middle of next week.